Are you trying to sound more professional for your live streams? Or maybe you're trying to crisp up your microphone for your recordings. Stick around and I'll show you step by step on how to get it set up. Welcome back to Live Gaming Network. I'm Gen X, and in today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to set up that microphone step by step and get you sounding professional for your live streams. If this video helps you guys out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm also live gaming on Twitch almost every day if you guys wanna come and hang out. All right, let's get that microphone set up. All right, if you're new to OBS, uh, you're gonna have to add your microphone. Go ahead and go up to settings. Go to audio, click on microphone auxiliary, and select your microphone. Click apply, then OK. Now you're going to have your microphone down here, and as you talk, you'll see that the bars go up and down. Once you have your microphone set up down here, all you're going to have to do is right click, go to filters, and then add a filter. The first thing that we're going to want to add is your gain. Go ahead and move this up so you can see down here what's going on. Basically, you want to talk into your microphone and you want to be in the yellow and in to the bottom of the red. You don't want to be peaking up too high. So if it looks like that, you want to bring it down. And if you're way too low below the yellow, you want to bring it up a little bit. You want to be right in that sweet spot, right in between there, where when you're talking a little louder, you want to be peeking at the red, but not higher than the actual bar itself. So right about there. After your gain is set up properly, go ahead and add a VST plugin. What you're gonna to wanna to do is scroll down until you see Marvel GEQ. If you do not have Marvel GEQ, what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is click the link that I have in the description below, and it'll bring you to a page like this. What you wanna do is click Download VST for Windows right here, and your download will automatically start. Go ahead and open that file once it's done, and go ahead and run the setup for your Marvel plugin. If you had to download Marvel when it's done installing, go ahead and close out OBS and then open it back up and get back into filters. Once you're back into filters, go ahead and add the VST plugin and find Marvel on the list. Once you've done that, go ahead and open your plugin interface. On this screen, from left to right, you have your bass volume, and on your right, you have your treble, okay? What you want to do is you want to bring this up to about halfway, this a little less, this a little less, this a little less, this a little less, until you're all the way towards the middle and you want those to level. And then you do the same thing with the treble right there, bring it down like a slide, meeting to the bottom center right there. What this does is it increases your bass on your microphone and also increases your treble. If you get to your live stream and you think that your bass is a little too high, you can just decrease it a little bit like this. And if you'd like to add more bass, you could just increase it like that. Make sure that you adjust the slide right next to it so it's like a downward progression. You don't want these higher than the other ones and you don't want these lower than these. A progression, bring it down. Once you have that set up, you can go ahead and click X. It won't actually close it. It'll run in the background, so don't worry about minimizing it. Just close it out. Next, we're going to add a compressor. What a compressor is going to do is it's going to make it so you are the same volume no matter how loud you talk, so you sound more professional to your viewers. What you want to do is set this ratio to 4, set your attack to 2 milliseconds, and then set your release to 100 milliseconds. All right, now we're going to adjust the output gain so you could talk real quietly, but your microphone will still pick up everything. So we're gonna talk real quiet to the microphone and we're going to make sure that when we talk, it goes into the yellow still. And we don't wanna be too loud. And so where we are right there. So now when I'm talking quietly into the microphone, it'll still pick up to about that size right there. Now we want to 
make it so when we're talking loud, it brings it down to the same volume. So bring your threshold all the way over to the right here. And you'll see that when you're talking, it just turns red every time. So what you want to do is talk as loud as you'll ever talk into the microphone and then bring this down so it stays into the yellow. So now I've got it so when I'm talking at a really low volume, it's still at this. And when I'm talking at a really high volume, it's still at the same level. This way you'll sound more professional to your viewers and you won't be screaming into their ears while you're playing your game. All right, now that we've got the volume of your voice set properly so you're gonna sound more professional, what we're going to now do is cut out all of the noise that you don't want heard, like your keyboard or a fan running in the background. Go ahead and add an expander next. Go ahead and set the ratio to four your attack to two and the release to a hundred to match your compressor. What you're going to do now is type on your keyboard. And as you can see here, when I'm typing that you, the microphone picks up the sounds, watch. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase the threshold while we're typing on the keyboard until that low is down almost all the way. You notice that once you're done setting your expander that the volume of your voice has gone down with your microphone. So go back to your compressor and speak lowly into it and just increase it until it's right about where it was before. The last thing that we're going to add now is noise suppression. Noise suppression will cut out all the background talking in the background or if somebody drops something in the background or breaks something or if you accidentally drop something on the floor, it won't pick up any of that noise. It will only pick up the sound going directly into the microphone. There are two settings for this. One is speed X, which is for low specs. If you have a low spec computer, go ahead and set it to speed X. But if you don't have any worries about your computer usage, go ahead and just set it for R and noise and it'll run it all by yourself. And just to refresh for you guys, make sure that you add it in this order, the gain, the plug-in, the compressor, the expander, and then the noise suppression. Well, that's it, you guys. That's all it takes to set up your microphone so you can sound more professional in your recordings. If this video helped you out at all, do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll see y'all next time. And remember, you guys, don't be toxic. Spread positivity.